Hey everybody, Ricky Adam Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, October the 8th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for one of three stake races on the card today. Race 9, 5, 17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Champagne Stakes, a mile test on the dirt, grade 1. Two-year-olds, race 4, $300,000. Contenders number six, Union Rags, number three, Takes the Gold, number five, Alpha, and number two, Spites City. A few folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, the Champagne, which is, by the way, the oldest stake, stakes race in this country for two-year-olds, derives its name from the English event, which is run annually at the Doncaster Course. The Champagne has often been a factor in the two-year-old championship. Recent winners include Foolish Pleasure, Honest Pleasure, Seattle Slough, Spectacular Bid, Lord Avi, Devil's Bag, Forty Diner, and Easy Goer. They've been voted champion two-year-olds. Jockey Barulio Baez has won the Champagne five times to, re to lead all riders. He captured the race four straight years from 1964 to 1967, also won in 1975. Calumet Farms has won the Champagne five times more than any other owner. Their most recent victory came in 1977 with the fantastic Alidar. Here in the 141st renewal of this grade one event, number six Union Rags undefeated in two race career to date, including a power run win his last time out. Number three takes the gold, a six to one shot, as the overall speed and pace profile leader has hit the board in both of his two career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden his last time out. Race nine summary, number six Union Rags tops the contenders list, which also includes number three takes the gold, number five Alpha, and number two Spite City, six, three, five, two in the ninth from Belmont, the $300,000 grade one champagne stakes. Let's go to Keeneland in Kentucky for a race 9, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Shadwell Turf Mile Stakes, 8 furlongs. That's a mile on the turf, grade 1, 3 year olds and up race 4, $600,000. Contenders number 5, Gio Ponte. Number 4, Zafoni. Number 1, Tajaweed. And number 8, Get Stormy. Number five, Gio Ponte, a three-time Eclipse Award winner, tops my contenders list this afternoon. Folks, he takes a class drop of six units, has produced power run performances in each of his last five, hitting the board in four. Jockey Ramon Dominguez has been in his arms on 16 previous occasions, hitting the board in 15 of those rides, winning six times back today for ride number 17 in the Saturday feature here at Classy Keeneland. Number four, Zofani, an Irish bred entry, shares the overall speed honors in this field with Gio Ponte. Has hit the board in four of his last five with three of those efforts, also qualifying as power runs. Race nine summary number five, Gio Ponte, tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, Zofani, number one, Taja Weed, and number eight, Get Stormy, 5418 in the ninth from Keeneland, the $600,000 grade one, Shadwell, Turf, Mile, Stakes. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, Ben Salem, PA, better known as Philadelphia Park, race eight here in the $75,000 Alphabet Soup Handicap. Number seven, Cat Park, an eight to one shot, qualifies as Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a seven level class drop as the overall speed leader in the stakes field racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the turf. Hawthorne Race Course, race nine, a six to one shot, number six, Headache. Posted a pair of power run wins in his last three outings. It's nice overall speed for this 10 furlong route test for the $500,000 grade two Hawthorne Gold Cup handicap. So handicapping from both Belmont Park and Keeneland Race Course on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equipace Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.